Now, coming to bottom line, lepromatous leprosy, the bacteria have increased. So you have multiple lesions over the body, multiple nerves have been enlarged. But remember, these are not yet symmetrical. They are tending to symmetry, means they are trying to be symmetrical. They are almost symmetrical, but not completely there. Okay, so what you see on the body here are multiple ill-defined lesions over the body, which have sensory loss. So these still have sensory loss with multiple nerve enlargement. So multiple lesions with sensory loss, multiple nerves, that is BL leprosy. Now in lepromatous leprosy, the infection has spread over the entire skin. So you have many lesions, many nerves, which are symmetrical. What is the meaning of symmetrical? It means you have same lesions on both sides of the body. In fact, the word that we use here is diffuse involvement of the skin. That means almost the entire skin is involved. And along with the involvement of the skin, there is also systemic involvement. So here the bacteria has spread to different internal organs as well. When you look at the lesions, what do you see? Patient has multiple papules, nodules on the body and there is a diffuse infiltration of the skin. Infiltration means the skin looks shiny. It is slightly raised as you can see the patient. Now an important point to remember in lepromatous leprosies, despite the fact that these are multiple papules, multiple nodules on the body, there is no lesional sensory loss in the lesions means the sensation in the lesions is normal. That's a very, very important point that you have to remember about lepromatous leprosy. No lesional sensory loss. The early features of the disease, patient can develop nasal stuffiness and epistaxis. They can also develop edema in the feet, that is pedal edema due to autonomic neuropathy. Later in the disease, the eyebrows are lost, which is called as maderosis. The bridge of the nose collapses, that is saddle nose. The ears can sag. Buddha 